Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Sand. Sand has so far not built another impulsive uh, move to the upside. I think we are still sort of in this ABC correction with possibly we haven't seen the low yet, possibly not seen the C yet. Um, just uh, at the moment an extended um, move down yeah, with a triangle pattern or range pattern here out of which we broke to the downside at the moment. Um, however, we are sort of still in this range. I think this is not yet a clear breakout, but what we are doing here, we did um, we did break below this key FIB level at 493 at the 0.5 FIB level. And what we're now doing, found support down here at the previous high, yeah, from the, um, when was that? That was on the 18th of November. And so found support on that previous high and now we are retesting the previous low here of this wave D and the wave B um, coming up here to 480, yeah, 481. This is a key resistance now. Yeah, if we break, if we cannot get above this level again and if we cannot break above this 0.5 FIB level, then I would expect further price drops. And at the moment, you know, we are retesting it. So if we not get above here 480, that closing candle at 484. If we can't get above 484, I think um, I would rather say that we are going to go down lower than we make. We already made a lower low here. And to be honest, we can see this on the four hour chart. So it's quite meaningful. It's various closed candles below the previous low. So I think primarily I would expect here further price drops to that yellow line, which is the 55 day EMA. I think that will provide support together with a 0.618 FIB level. I think I do have a buy order set there. Um, I would need to double check on Discord. So everybody who is interested in understanding my own buy and sell orders, um, you can uh, join as a channel member if you want to, and then you can get access to Discord and Telegram and weekly live streams. And on Telegram or on Discord, I have my buy and sell orders for various cryptocurrencies, one of them being sand. And I think this will be a key level of support here, the 0.618. But I did say before as well, this chart really reminds me of the development of the Cardano chart where we moved into this ABC correction. Then we had this triangle pattern or range pattern. We broke to the downside of this one, broke then again down, and then we've been moving sideways and then trickled down really here to the 0 0.21, uh, 0 0.786 FIB level, which would be at $3.05 for sand and then even the 0 0.887 which is here at 239 US dollars. Nobody can imagine these prices yet. I know how it um, sounds like, but that was the case for Cardano as well. And also when I said here, remember that we're moving up here into that wave five, we were at around $7.50. I made a video and said, think about profit taking. Don't forget your profit taking. Then we had a last chance here in this wave B where people again were getting too bullish and then it dropped down. Um, and I remember that people said, you know, 550, you won't see the 550 again. Now I think you would be happy to be have a 550, but we are just moving down further. I think there's no sign of recovery really yet. And we just had to retrace. This just needs to or needed to happen. And it's actually good for the sand price because only after this correction is happening or has happened, then we can see new all time highs. So if we take a look on the weekly here, just take a look on the weekly RSI. We still have so much scope to drop lower. Um, and I can't see a turnaround here on the weekly RSI yet. So there is quite a lot of space to hit the 50 line or even those previous lows on the RSI. That will mean quite a bit of a price drop. Also, we've only just had this, or we haven't even had it. Well, okay. So we haven't even had this bearish crossover on the MACD yet, but we are turning around here at the moment. You can see the blue MACD line on the weekly. If we get that bearish crossover, that you know, then I think levels of around two dollars and ninety are certainly realistic, if not lower. I'm uh, very honest here with you. I'm not talking the price down in any way, but if you see that, if you see this MACD on the weekly turn around, that and it will correct down. Um, we are just too high anyway. I mean, on the weekly MACD, if you come down, but at some point cross through zero here, even or at least making that bearish crossover, that means yeah definitely another correction or a continuation of the correction. That is also what I would primarily expect here. I mean, on the daily, we can see the MACD slowing down, the momentum slowing down a little bit, not really the, the you know, not, not a major turnaround yet here. The blue line is still dropping. 
um, and um, we have scope to the downside and the upside here on the on the RSI on the daily. But because we are in this downtrend, we haven't really broken that yet. Um, I would expect further price drops. And you can draw a trend line here. Doesn't matter how you do it at the moment. There's it, it certainly is is in a downtrend currently. We haven't broken that yet. So I would primarily expect you further price drops at the moment, um, given that we have dropped below the 0.5 FIP level. Would be good to get above 493 again. Yeah. Um, then we get back into this range, but now we've dropped one level down into the next FIP level range between the 0.618 and the 0.5 FIP level between $4.15 and $4.93. And if we lose for 15, then that's also where the 50 day, 55 day EMA is. Then we come down to the 0.786 FIP level at $3.05. That would be the next key support there um, where we would be looking out for. But generally, can't really see at the moment this price turning around um, unless you really break this trend line here to the upside. But even then, on the weekly MACD and considering the general how it's generally the general sentiment at the moment in the crypto market also generally i think speaks more for further continuation to the downside however after that correction the make i think the sand price will turn around anyway um and the whole metaverse pro you know all these metaverse projects will do fairly well in 2022 and then we can expect i think new all-time highs next year so hopefully you liked the update video if you did please smash the like button and subscribe thanks a lot for watching bye bye